I'm ready for my close-up, Mr. DeMille. Name that movie, go. Don't look it up. All right, Mr. DeMille, I'm ready for my close-up. <laughs> Today, I've had two things that I just got the other day from LA Girl, and I've been a big fan of LA Girl for quite a few years, actually. So I'm loving to see them expand their range. Now, if you have followed me for any sort of time, I'm pretty much always wearing like a full coverage foundation or at least a medium coverage foundation, most of which is because I have an uneven skin tone for the most part. Like when I get a pimple like this, this bitch is gonna be here for a while. Like she's not going anywhere anytime soon. So I tend to like to cover this up for the most part and today we're gonna be trying out the LA girl tinted foundation I got a giant box of tons of shades of this so hopefully we can get the right one I kind of was comparing it to my Tarte Amazonian clay to like get the right foundation shade so this is what it looks like and it's one fluid ounce and to compare that like my Tarte Amazonian clay one is 1.7 ounces so we'll talk about more about the foundation in a second but I'm also gonna be trying the LA girl feather light brow pencil and it comes with this guy right here, which is the clear brow gel. I almost have no use for that because I have so few eye eyebrow hairs that like... So I have not worn an eyebrow pencil like this type on my eyebrows since I was probably in middle school. I got these bad boys ready because I feel like we're gonna need them. Okay. So back to the foundation. All right, a little bit about the ingredients. Um, so it is, it's got... Panthenol, which smooths and soothes. Glycerin and vitamin E, it moisturizes skin. And then it's got ginger root extract, which evens out your skin tone. Safflower seed oil is an anti-inflammatory. So it's buildable, has a natural finish, it says. Blurs and perfections with a sheer to medium wash of color, basically perfecting your no makeup routine. Fragrance free. So here's a little idea of the rain. Uh, I pretty much only wear tinted foundation if I am camping or I'm going on a boat or something like that. So my opinion's already skewed a little bit there, but let's let's try this out and see, see how it is. Okay, so the package is kind of cool. I like the little, this little guy. It's pretty cool. So it came with this brush. I don't really want to try this brush because it doesn't look like I would like it. I kind of just want to stick with my tried and true. Oh, that might be a little, a little darker. Let's see. Oh wow, you like really can't see that. Like I put it on my chest, I'm like, where is it? So, all right, first we're gonna go in with my e.l.f. Matte Putty Primer. I use this every day and have been for like the past month and a half or two. It fills in my pores. I'm gonna just kind of put this where I get my little, where like my pores show up a little bit too much. Let's see if we can cover this. And I, I'm curious to see like, how dewy this is. It doesn't really talk about the finish. It also doesn't, um, I or I also, it also says that it's buildable. So I'm curious how buildable it is. It doesn't smell like anything. A little doesn't go a long way. <laughs> so let me get a little bit more of that. It's going on really well and spreading nicely. One coat on, let's see how we did with the color match. Let's Pretty damn good, actually. Go, Kristen. I'm usually horrible at matching my foundation. And I think, I don't know. Okay, so that covered that pretty good. People think that just cause like I do makeup on YouTube and stuff, I should know how to color match super well. That is uh, one of my weak points. <laughs> I'm terrible at color matching. And also, how can you trust a foundation when that sh oxidizes after you put it on? Like, I didn't know you were gonna like do that to me. Like I put it on, I'm like, oh sh this matches. And then like an hour later, I look like a motherfucking Oompa Loompa. Like what, am I like, what am I supposed to do with that? Okay, wow, I actually really like this. This is like, like if you are down to wear foundation to the gym or you have an extra breakout or something and you want to cover it up a little bit, I would say that this is like a good go-to. This is one layer right now. Um, I'm going to do another layer in a minute. The finish is nice. It looks like skin. So I feel like if I put too much powder down, it might end up looking like a little chalky. I'll powder certain places, certain areas. It looks good around my nose rings. Might add a little bit more in there. But overall, like this spread out really nicely. And I think it looks pretty good on my skin. We're going to do 
an oh. By the way, this color is warm sand in case you were wondering. I really wanted to actually tan today because every time I see a tan line on my new titties, I'm like, yes, 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 we need some more color. And then I get busy working and I get screwed. We're gonna do another layer. Pay attention now, Let's see how well this covers. Okay, that did pretty good. This is looking freaking good. This actually still has like a good amount of coverage, I'd say. You have that opportunity to build it up a little bit more. Like right now, like I would wear this. I mean, obviously I look a little crazy because I don't have foundation in my eyes and stuff, but um, I would wear this like out during the day. Like this is like a good daytime foundation as long as I wasn't breaking out too much. How cute are these little earrings right here? I'll leave the link for you guys in the description box. I think that one might supposed to be on this side. I don't know. Um, I'm going to powder just some parts of my face. I don't want it to get too matte looking, but I'm gonna be using the Veil Translucent Setting Powder by Hourglass. And I'm just gonna get a little bit of that on there. I'm gonna do a little bit right here. So I find that if I don't do kind of this center area of my face and my eyebrows, and it's already a little bit shiny, when I leave my makeup room like two hours from now or an hour from now, I'm gonna look like Shine Central. I'm gonna use the Park Ave Princess Tarte uh, Contour Palette. I love this thing. I don't think they sell this anymore, sadly. Seems to lay onto the foundation nicely. It's not like moving it or anything or making it patchy like the powder is even though that's not pa my uh, foundation's not powdered my contour isn't you know sometimes back in the day like i swear a lot of foundations would be like patchy like they would like like certain things like products like blush and like contour would, like stick to it in patches like little patchy areas and it was so bizarre but this isn't doing that so that's nice i don't know if you all know this but I had the liposuction, I had liposuction under my chin right here. That was one of the best freaking decisions I ever made. So I'm just saying, if you're thinking about doing it, the healing is like so simple, other than the fact that you have to wear this like hilarious like thing on your face. Like it go, it straps up on top of your head and then straps under your chin. Um, why are you guys zoomed in so much still here? I'm using the lighter shades in the contour palette just to highlight this area a little bit. I'm using the Morphe blush palette to do a little bit of blush. I've been doing this one and I kind of just mix these together. I also have a Morphe code that works in store and online if you want to use it. It's just Kristen. The other day I broke my Becca Opal highlighter. Can we have a moment of silence? It's so sad. You like how I'm putting like a full face of freaking makeup on what's supposed to be like light coverage foundation. <laughs> I don't have the right brush for this right now, but we're gonna make it work. Okay, I'm gonna finish my eyes and I will be right back and we will see how these eyebrow pencils do. Okie dokie. Let's see what shades we have. We have dark blonde. I don't see anything in here for redheads, but there are only five shades. Dark blonde, soft brown, medium brown, dark brown, soft black. What about auburn? Also, what about light blonde people? I'm like so nervous to put this on my eyebrows right now. You guys, I am obsessed with the Urban Decay brow blade. Like, I don't know what's gonna happen. I can't control the situation. I have makeup wipes. Everything's gonna be fine. <laughs> okay, this is what it looks like. It has a little brush on the one side and then this is the pencil, which is thick enough to be a lip liner. So I don't know what's gonna, I don't, I don't know. Maybe this needs to be used in conjunction with something else. Like I, maybe this is for people that have more filled in brows, but like you guys know my brows. Like I just uploaded an IGTV video on them the other day, which I'll link you guys if you guys missed it and wanna see how I do my brows. But I don't see being able to do like little brush stroke hairs even with a sharpener with this. I'm gonna try and just fill, oh, whoa, that's, <laughs> I'm not used to that much product coming off of a brow pencil. This must be like more so for filling in like thicker brows, which if I had thicker brows, this would be working perfectly, but I don't, so, oh no. Definitely harder, cause it's like a thicker pencil than like the brow blade, for instance. Like I have one right here, let's, compare shall we so those are what this is what I'm used to <laughs> so that's a little thick I have to say the color is pretty good it doesn't look that bad but 
if you like those, like I would use this again to fill in and from here, I would then go in with my brow blade and do my small little strokies and like do another color too. And this is as far as I would go with this. So uh, my thin brow girls, this is not gonna be for you, but if you use it in conjunction with something else, great, but why buy two products when you only have to buy one with this, right? So, I mean, I guess one thing is that this is double the price. Thick brow girls, I think you could get away with this for sure. I was wondering why my purse was so damn heavy and then I just found these things in it. <laughs> Nick and I just went to the uh, design place. He's doing our kitchen designs. We're in the middle of a remodel. If you didn't know, there will be some videos on that if it doesn't come up before this one on the remodel itself. But this is so heavy. Like you could knock someone out with this. Like this is like a weapon that shouldn't be in my purse. That would have been really funny if I filmed a what's in my purse yesterday like I was thinking about doing because that would have definitely been in there. Okay, so I actually am really liking this. I think it looks really good. I like how you can build it up. I think it looks nice. It's for me, it's like the right amount of dewiness. I, I just feel like a lot of found, like tinted foundations just aren't tinted enough to even be work, like it's pointless, but this actually, you can, you can build it up. And even the first layer, I was like, oh yeah, that's nice. Like if you're going somewhere and you don't wanna be wearing like super heavy foundation during the day, I think this could be good for you. Now, um, It'll be interesting to see how it wears, but I feel like with lightly tinted foundation, it doesn't really matter because it's supposed to look like you're not really wearing any foundation anyways. I know I do because I load on the rest of the makeup, but anyways, uh, point is um, I am liking this and it is less than $9, so that's pretty awesome. Let me know what you guys think of this. Have you tried it? Have you even tried LA Girl before? If you haven't, I highly recommend a lot of their products are really awesome. Uh, some of them are hit and miss, you know, price range and whatever, but um, I really like a lot of their products, especially they have some like neon like eyeliners, which are so badass. I love those. I really like their lip liners. Um, some of the, most of their eyeshadow palettes that I've tried, I really like as well. So I'll link a couple products for you guys down below. Let me know what you guys think of the foundation. How do you think it looks in comparison to how my foundation normally looks? Let's chat in the comments. Let me know, you guys. I will see you in the next video. In the next, in the next video? I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. <laughs>